Oh man. Oh. <sighs> Whilst up in the north of Scotland, we decided to set ourselves a little challenge and do a bit of a hill walk. We haven't done loads in our time, but it's always quite good fun. And because we've got such great weather while we're here, we've decided to do a walk up the mountain of Ben Van. Is that right? I think it is. It means White Mountain. Um, it's just below Applecross at the Bialik. If you haven't watched our previous vlog on that, check it out. But yeah, let's go. I've got new walking boots and I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. Hopefully it'll be okay. I also have walking boots. Not my usual just wearing Adidas trainers because I thought I'd be prepared. But they're actually Timberlands. Now, online it says that they're good for short hikes, but not for long hikes. But I think they'll be fine. <laughs> a wee bit dressy for uh, mountain climbing, but hey-ho, let's try. So we started the walk by parking at the lay-by at Torna Press. And from here, we basically start the climb. Um, I've downloaded a little online map, so I'm hoping that we don't get lost. There is a path, but I don't think there's a path for the whole way, so... So I think this walk is roughly just under 10 kilometers and I think it starts off fairly easy before um, a very steep ascent uh, up to the ridge of the mountain. So it probably will be the most challenging uh, mountain walk slash climb that we've done. So yeah, hopefully nothing will go wrong. If you've watched our previous vlogs, you'll know that sometimes things don't always go to plan with us. I actually can't believe this is happening. We're totally lost. Hopefully it'll all go to plan. We're not going to get lost up the mountain and have to do SOS. <laughs> so the time right now is 9.35. So obviously we're going to stop and do some camera stuff and that, but you know, let's see how we get on. It's estimated to take six hours. Update, how are the boots working out? Ramona? They're okay, like I don't feel like I'm going to get a blister on my ankle so that's good but all I will say is that my toes feel so tightly squashed in that they're starting to feel numb <laughs> which probably isn't a great sign but I'm hoping that as I walk they'll kind of loosen off a wee bit and uh, become more comfortable. What's also nice about this walk, aside from the beautiful weather and the beautiful scenery it is, we're just on our own. There's no one else around. Can't beat that. So the lovely thing about this walk is that you pass by some really beautiful mountain lochs. Uh, so our first planned snack stop of the walk is the first lock that we're going to get to and I'm hoping that it's not too much further away. I haven't really been looking at the map because the path was really obvious but I just had a wee look and apparently we're off course by quite a lot but we're gonna just keep on this path for now and see what happens there's a group of people not far behind us so yeah we'll see I think maybe we have gone the wrong way because we've ended up at this lock but there doesn't really seem to be an obvious path to anywhere from here that's so annoying. It means we've totally wasted like energy and time. It's weird though because I didn't see another path. Oh well, we're going to stop here for a few minutes and have a snack anyway. So 
we're going to put the name of the loch on the screen there and although you can summit the ridge from that loch I think that route is for people who really know what they're doing <laughs> which isn't us so we've made the decision to use follow the map and we're backtracking which is a bit annoying it's going to add a bit of time on but we think it's probably for the best because I think this route that we're going to follow on here is slightly easier for the likes of us so let's get back on track so backtrack to get to where we want to and we're about to head up this big hill with no track this will be interesting It's getting harder, but it's getting more beautiful. Wow. We've made it to our second block and and it's even got a little sandy beach, so I think we should make our way over there. And it is amazing that there's no one else here. Like, it just makes it so special. I just wish the water was a little bit warmer. <laughs> Cause I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think some of the viewers might have seen this before. <laughs> a repeat performance. <laughs> some things never change, right? I've got goosebumps. Why are you so close to me? <laughs> you gonna do it? I don't know. Do you want me to do I'm it? I'm peeing right now. Are you? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> it helps keep me warm. <laughs> I haven't even put my hands in yet. <laughs> <laughs> and one, two, three, go! Do it once more. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Got to keep moving, got to keep moving, got to keep moving! Got to keep moving! Why can't I just be ladylike and get in really elegantly? Ah. We've had a swim, feel refreshed, we have had our food and now for the last the mammoth last. hike. <laughs> not really the last. It's not the last? Well not really because then we've got to get down again. <laughs> yeah but that's, still... that's easy getting down isn't it? We're currently at just over 1200 feet elevation. Not sure what will be once we reach the top of the summit we shall see. I'm scare sighted. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared, I'm a little bit excited and I'm not sure how this is going to go but we're going to give it our all. It's going to be tough but I think we can do it. We're fast approaching what I perceive that's going to be the most challenging part of today's hike which is climbing up the mountain <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> uh, it's pretty steep, so 
Uh, we've read some things online and we're gonna go to the left. So as you can see behind me, there's kind of two options. On the right, you've got quite a lot of boulders and rocks. So we're gonna go to the left of where those are and scale up the mountain. I love an echo. Romana! <laughs> yeah, and I always get scared in case people think we're in need of help. No, more. you won't do it once oh, more. Once that's more. enough. Once more. That's enough. No, that's enough because yeah. you've already done it before we recorded. No. I love you, Romana! <laughs> <laughs> what you don't see is poor Ewan setting up all these shots having to run ahead, run back down, get the camera. So really he's doing like way more steps <laughs> than I am and he's carrying a lot of equipment. So I just want to say well done Ewan. Oh man. Oh. Oh. oh my god. My legs are like jelly. Oh. You did it. Well, the views at the top of this mountain are spectacular and we're so lucky to have climbed it on such a brilliant day because behind us we can see the coolings and sky. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm blown away. It's so cool. Been swimming earlier. <laughs> wow. Elevation is two thousand eight hundred and forty five feet. down so we're now scaling down the side of this mountain and my feet now it's my toes are really sore because they're pressing up against the front of the shoes so I've decided that actually it's gonna be easier to just kind of slide down <laughs> which is what I'm attempting I'm probably gonna put my hand in sheep shit but I think at this precise moment in time, my toes need a little bit of a rest. So let's see how um, far we've got. Sliding gone. down the mountain, she'll be sliding down the mountain when she comes. You know, we can see our car, and we we've seen it for a while, and it's like just teasing us because it's still so far away, but we can see it. Ugh. Come on. Oh, I might rip my leggings. <laughs> I have never been so happy to see a flat road. Oh, that last stretch was brutal. My feet. The dogs are barking. Oh. 
I've never been so happy to see flat ground. Flat, flat, flat. Ah, oh. ha. Oh. We've basically scaled down this. It might not look much, but I tell you, bloody hell, it was. Oh, my feet. That was the hardest part of the climb coming down. Like, I'm sure if we'd stayed on the right path, it wouldn't have been so hard. <sighs> we both really had to dig deep there. Our feet are like, I don't think my feet have ever been this sore in all my life. So we started off, we left the car at about 20 past nine. And it's now quarter past seven. Ridiculous. No one else would ever take as long as we have. Um, but I think obviously the fact that we took that detour at the beginning that added an extra hour uh, Not getting the right path at the end and also obviously having to stop so many times to set up shots and stuff. So It's been an epic day uh, How many steps have I done? I have done 36,470 steps so I better sleep well tonight. It's days like this that you never forget. They're really hard going at times, but also equally amazing at times. And that's what makes it just a brilliant day. So thanks for watching. We hope you've, we've inspired you to get up some mountains. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be going up a few more at some point soon. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you've ever climbed this mountain or any that you would re recommend we try now that we've got into our <laughs> stride I don't think we have but anyway um, okay we shall see you next week